Hi, and thank you for joining me for this look at Mastercam X9 and how we can bring over some of our settings and preferences from a previous version of Mastercam. Some of these include our configuration settings, our toolbar, right-click menu, and key mapping options. So the first thing we'll talk about is our configuration settings. Now you can find these under settings and configuration. You will find that Mastercam does have an option when using the Migration Wizard to update a configuration from a previous version of Mastercam. It is our recommendation to go ahead and take the time to just set up a new configuration file as some inconsistencies have been found when trying to update a configuration from a previous version of Mastercam. Though some of the items may work, it's often found that some of the file references will reference back to the previous version of Mastercam. It may cause some errors throughout the process of using Mastercam. So again, we highly recommend just setting up a new configuration file and then navigating through each page just to select the options that you prefer. Another thing to note is that some of the options in these pages have changed if you're coming from a version prior to X8. Some additional items have been added, some have been removed based on changes that have been made in Mastercam. So again, if you have any questions on those, feel free to let us know. Otherwise, it would be recommended to set up a new configuration. So moving on, we want to talk about our toolbar files, take a look at the right-click options, and also our key mapping options. So what Mastercam has done is change this into one singular file, which is now called a workspace. And we can load some of the default workspaces from Mastercam, and we can also create our own. Now, all of the settings are saved in one singular file. So if we're moving over from X8, this is a very simple process of just copying our workspace and moving it over into the current version. So let's move over to X8 and take a look at where we can grab that from. So the first thing you'll probably notice is that my toolbars have been customized to my own liking, and this has been set up through my workspace. If I go under Settings and then choose Customize, I can open up my current workspace and I can take a look at what options I've selected as well as what I've named this workspace. So you can see here I've created my own custom workspace and these are the options that I want to move over to X9. So this is the name that I'm looking for, My X8 Workspace. So a shortcut to get to where those workspaces are stored is to go under the File menu and then choose to open our user folder. Then it will be found under the config folder. And then I just have to find that in my list of files here. So here's my X8 workspace. All I'm going to do here is right click and copy it. And then I can back up to my main documents folder and then go right into my MyMCAM X9 and config folder and just paste that in here. The other thing I may do is just rename this only because I've named mine according to the version. So I'll just call this My X9 Workspace. Renaming the file doesn't create an issue because we haven't referenced it yet. Once that file is located, we do need to close and reopen X9 in order for that option to show up in our list. So once X9 has been reloaded, we should be able to go under Settings, and we can see under the Load Workspace that the new option has been selected there for My X9 Workspace. So I can load that by selecting it from that list. And the other option we have is to actually make that our default selection so that when we open Mastercam, it's already loaded. So you can see right away it brought over my settings that I had in X8. Let's take a look at where we can set that in our configuration. Under Settings, Configuration, we can go down to the Start and Exit tab. And then here we have our option for what workspace we're pulling up by default. We can find ours in the list, select it, and then just hit apply and say yes. And then the next time we open Mastercam, this will be the default one that's pulled up. Now if we go back under the Customize menu, you'll notice that there are some options up top here for us to actually copy, rename, or we can create a new workspace. So if you haven't done so in X8 or you're coming from an older version, you can go ahead and create a new one for yourself just by selecting New and then giving it a name.
Once it's created, all the options on this particular page are for your toolbar settings up top. So you can notice if I check and uncheck, certain items will disappear from my menu up top. Also, if I expand each section, I can remove or add functions to each of the main sections up top. If I want to remove, I simply select the item and hit the remove, or I can come over here and choose a category and actually take an item and add it to that current section. Now, wherever it gets added is wherever my current selection has been placed. We also have an option to right click in here and we can insert a separator if we want to separate the items in a particular menu. So this is a nice way to set up your toolbar. And the other thing you can do also is move items around just like you were able to do in a previous version of Mastercam and set them for whatever spacing you prefer. Now for our context menu, this would be the right click menu. Now one thing that I do want to show you is you have the option to import options from a previous version of Mastercam. So as I mentioned in older versions, the key mapping and our right click menu options were all set up in two separate files. So we have the option to import both the context menu, which is the right click, and also the key mapping, but we'll have to locate the files in order to do so. So I'm going to choose X6 as an example of how I can do that. So before I import that, I'm actually going to grab the files and then move them to a location where it's easier for me to reference them. So I'll just open a File Explorer window. This is just another way to navigate to your Documents folder. I'll go under Documents, and then I'll find my MyMCAM X6. Then we go under Config, and what we're looking for is my MasterCam MTB and my KMP. The MTB used to hold our toolbar states as well as the right-click menu, and the KMP is for key mapping. So I can copy both those files, and I'll place them in a folder on my desktop here so that I can reference those quickly and easily in X9. So now back in X9, we'll go under our Customized. We'll go under our Context menu page, and now we'll choose the Import option. I'll navigate to my desktop where I've placed those files, and there I can find my MTB file. You can see right away it imports some additional options that I had added in a previous version to my right-click menu. The same would be true for your key mapping. We can simply choose Import, navigate to the desktop, and select the KMP file. Now, I don't have a category pulled up, so I'm not seeing anything on this page, but it will import whatever settings were in that file. The last option on this page has an option to select large icons, which can make it a little easier to see, as well as some other settings that you can change for how shadows show up or the color of the background. Once you're done with all the settings you want, you can just hit Apply and then hit OK, and then all those changes have been made to that current workspace. Thanks again for joining us, and hopefully you learned something on how to move over your settings and options from previous versions into X9.